Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54. First round match between Diomed and Arzawain. Um, Arzawain's got a wizard. Diomed's got a bit of a weird necro team, right? It's It needed a lot more games. <laughs> I guess the Fleshy had just died. He's got a complete new rookie and a block guard one. Pom, tackle wolf, but no dodge. Or jump up, one of the two. And... Uh, Mighty blow on with edge, but no dodge. Just guard on the white, only one white. Just edge, but no uh, sidestep or sure hands. Oh, he's got block at least. And then, uh, yeah, it's just weird, isn't it? Oh no, he's got two whites. Okay, he's got two whites. One's a niggle, though. So, um, I can't see that, so. Yeah, so it's pretty. the rookie. The rookie uh, flesh is a bit rubbish. But, um. Yeah, it's a weird team, isn't it? It's a weird team. It just needed a few more levels to be really good. Not really good, but quite good. <laughs> but, you know, Diamond's a good player. And uh, it's just a typical min max dwarf team, right? Loads of guard. Stand firm, mighty bow. The, the classic. The classic low effort, easy qualification with a monster team, but no real hope of winning the, the league. With no real hope of winning Chalice, but there's a bit, there's a bit of hope, but like it's not realistic to hope to win. Like these min max four teams are great at qualifying, incredible records, really good in a TV match environment. But when they come up against the bigger, bigger boys in the cup, they tend not to do so well. Though I mean, Dwarves have won, have won the cup. You know, somebody, somebody with death roll the dwarves. You know, got the semi-final even, which is really amazing. <laughs> that was probably the best performance uh, <laughs> ever. Yeah, yeah, they do all right in the chalice. Yeah, they just they just haven't got that big hope, right? They need a draw and everything, right? They need the good draw, which, you know, with three or four of them, <laughs> one of them gets a good draw. <laughs> but um, you know, against like the bigger boys, they tend to not do well. But any elves they can just beat, can't they? Like they are, they are super strong, min max dwarves, and that's and that's in CRP, right? Never mind Blood Bowl three, where. There's no claw to victimise them, really. Um, and there's redrafting, which makes them completely busted. Hello, Noalius. The legend. French kiss. Fantastic. <laughs> oh. Classic. Classic dodge. Just keep the ball back. Try to sniper the claw on the roof if you can. I wonder if he'll get fouled. Because the rookie's here. And he can chain. Yep, he is going for the chain away. Oh, no chain in. Oh, yeah, chain in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chain in is just the same. I think chain away would be better, right, if he'd got the power. But this, this dominates him with guard and strength, which is quite good. Don't even need a foul in. Like chaining the wolf. So I think if you pow, oh he's got stand firm. Oh, never mind, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Never mind, I'm a complete idiot. Don't try to chain up stand firm, people. <laughs> so yeah, chain the wolf in was always the play, and maybe into a two assist foul. I'm not sure if it's worth it, honestly. night for all of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Mostly because there was no Blood Bowl played. <laughs> but it was indeed glorious. Hmm. Oh, I, 
I guess at least dodge would mostly be blood against these walls. But yeah. And this is the good thing, like you don't need to foul blow bombs right if you can control them like this. The problem is it takes a lot of resources to keep them in control. And it's pretty weak at this side now. The side of the double fleshes. Stand firm, being quite good there. Even though it doesn't look it, it's subtly, subtly good sometimes, isn't it? I feel like blitzing the uh, light was the play there. Cats. And I mean that's good as well, right? Going for the weak, weak link with the nickel. Pretty good. And of course, Diamed's first place to free up the said wolf. It's really horrible, isn't it, carrying on this edge for the girl against the wizard. No regen. My girls never regen. We're in quite out of position here. Of course, it's so slow. Huh? So slow. to try and hem him in or something or whatever, but it seems weird to run away from the ball. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. Maybe maybe he thought he saw Sergo in the crowd and he ran he ran to be close to him so he could cheat with him. Maybe that's what it was. really weird that like basically gives up the drive right if you just keep you can just keep this run up deep and he can't get blitz and then this can't happen really weird really weird oh, isn't that? I didn't like the blitz either I would have blitz like the white and, like you've got to try and you know get people back to here last time right and have him back there so this can't happen with a wizard. It does look a bit like a wizard. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he did that to induce the, the 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 push and then come back. Maybe he was creating trap space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that was it, Diamond. Yeah, maybe he was inducing the trap space. Maybe that was actually really good play. 
get them back there, disconnected from the rest of the team so they can't stall it out and give himself a 2-1 shot. Three turns to score, it's not a great chance, but he does have two runners, so a better chance than uh, most. Last <laughs> one did do it in two, yeah. <laughs> With just a simple five four four three two two. No big without re rolls. <laughs> what match number is this? I think this is the fourth one of the day, I'm not sure. Yeah, on the third one's the third one, yeah. Four percent touchdown in the last game, there you go. <laughs> oh really Diana, did you did you hunt him? There should be like a kickoff event that's like ultimate cheating or whatever that Sergo and Azawain would be great at. God, let me look at the bloody things. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's only two. I thought I thought it was a lineman that was never. Oh, okay, so only only two. Obviously, he's got to keep the strength full. But yeah, he's straight. He's straight in the face. It's nearly a good necro team. I just needed like a few more SPPs than everyone, right? Like 17 more on him, 5 more on him, 8 more on him, 1 more on him, 6 more on him. I just get a bit more SPP on, on pretty much all the positionals, it gets loads better. Which might happen during the course of the tournament, but it's. Uh, I don't think it's better than Dave, or isn't it? I disagree. I actually disagree. It would be better if we got all the dodge on it. Oof! Brutal double one. Completely deserved. <laughs> They're nearly better, do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Like, if this guy had dodge or jump up, and this guy's got dodge, and this guy's got sidestep or sure hands, then it's not to get better, but. <laughs> Is this the blitz here? Yep. 
diced because obviously he was gonna even on a push would have cleared him to make this dodge through easy. Well, not like not a dodge through, right? Would have pushed and pushed again, and then just come through to get the ball. So that was pretty unlucky. A pretty unlucky one in nine. And fail there. There's not much chance for the dwarves, but there is a chance. Oh, bolt! Ooh. I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't think that bolt was the play, do you? This guy, like the other runner, stunned. If the other runner isn't stunned, then that's a pretty good bolt, right? Because you can you can come around, blitz him off, pick up hand off score. Then it's kind of all right. Then you won one and you, you set up to two one grind and win. But here it's a four plus, four plus. Or a four plus three plus. Yeah, bolt the ghoul. Yeah, bolt the ghoul's way better. Because then it's a it's an edge four ghoul. And then you've got the three plus handoff and you've got the dodge. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bolt the, the bolt and the ghoul is way better. Yeah, because you've got the slayer bits, yeah, yeah. But even then, even bolting the ghoul, it's still you're still relying on a four plus three plus. Which isn't great, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's really that's really weird bolting the bolting the fleshy. It's safe to just call bolting the fleshy wrong, I think. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I've got no idea how far down the money goes to run, but almost certainly not the first round. <laughs> I think it's maybe top 16. It's either top 16 or top 8, I think. Yeah, I didn't... I, I wasn't a good player. I'm not sure I'd have liked the ball. I mean, maybe, right? Maybe, because you're going you're gonna to get the ball next. So, maybe, I think... So, actually, maybe maybe bolting the... Uh, maybe bolting the ghoul is fine. Yeah. Honestly, maybe bolting the ghoul is fine, right? Because you've got the slayer to hit the to hit the fleshy. And then it is a 4-3-2 or something to win. I almost to win. Not just straight to win, but, you know... Yeah, Slayer out is pretty bad. Good for neutrals, but bad for ours away. Bad for cheating admins. Good for viewers. <laughs> Good for impartial viewers. Every impartial viewer, of course, cheering on Diamond. <laughs> Because he hasn't stolen thousands of dollars from legitimate PS4 players. <laughs> yep. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! Could bring in the extra dwarf for a 3D here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have hated that, bringing this guy in. Slivers of equity. Yeah, the Xbox players didn't get cheated by the PS4 cheating ring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, playing on Xbox was punishment enough for them. with absolutely zero effect. Some amazing dice here. <laughs> Diamond. Claw Pom really setting the match on fire.
Oh, I love the Xbox sound effect. It really is a classic, isn't it? Goes for the one day. I guess we're going to go for the foul here. I guess that's the play, right? The reserve runner. <laughs> this might be the only remo removal the piling on guy gets. <laughs> No. Diced again. Ooh. Are we gonna surf this fella? Are we gonna surf this little fella? Sure looks. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe could have stood there. Yeah, not really, though. Mighty Blows. Could have stood the LOS first, but there's still a bit of a screen, isn't it? Gets the pal. Absolutely standard. Maybe we could have still pushed him onto the ghouls here. Might have been better. Puts him under a lot of threat. Super interesting. Maybe it was worth standing up with zombies. It's always a tough call, isn't it? I really do like keeping the LOS on the ground against dwarves. Really like keeping the dwarves on the LOS on the ground. Because they're just so slow they can't clear it, can they? And when you, when you finally... When you finally stand them up, they can do so. Like, they have to worry about them even when they're not standing, don't they? So... And they, they can't deal with, like, if you stand up, they can deal with them. And if you don't, they can't. It's pretty good. It's pretty good just leaving your ass on the ground against wolves. <laughs> More dwarves. I mean, it's the same dwarves, to be fair. <laughs> Still dwarves rather than more dwarves. These claws have really devastated the dwarves, haven't they? I mean, so much damage in 11 turns here. <laughs> but to be fair, the, the dwarves could have done more damage than they have as well. And finally, it's the time for the OS to stand up. <laughs> I do love some grammar lessons. <laughs> Especially to Flicky. <laughs> Very enjoyable. Very enjoyable correcting Flicky in SFL Discord. <laughs> That's probably the most fun I have on Discord, is correcting Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, maybe it was better to not hit with the wolf this turn here and get him back for next turn. Nothing again. I mean, the fact that these are two stun, both stuns, is actually really good, isn't it? Because it means the stuff can come back next turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the wolf can just took us away, whereas the white couldn't.
Yeah, never let your bulls touch. Yeah, that is that is the big thing for Chorfs, honestly. Yeah, it's funny because I, I I would have concentrated on getting the wolf back as like you know three, but yeah, seeing as the wolf can just two plus next turn, it's maybe an eight. And obviously this way you get hit with four eight as well. But I mean the the two stuns is amazing, right? Freeing all of these up is just incredible. Completely incredible work. The, the, the stuns are amazing. Oh wow, he goes for it. The way you go, it was it was a perfect defensive turn in the end. Set up for the 2 1 grind now, four turns with movement 8 and agility 4. Well, 7 8. 7 inch 4 and 8 inch 4. So, two really good, two really good inch 4 pieces here. Who would bet against Diamed? Nobody. Who, <laughs> who would want Arzawain to win this? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> a deep kick but high kick is lovely Oof. is it still in range? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah still just in range I think you take the score on any turn as well right? because chances are he doesn't score back so you get a bit of freedom in, uh, if you, like, you know, I'd have probably moved the, both the walls already. Strong argument for moving the walls already. Without knowing what this is going to be, just so that you've got, uh, just so you've got something in range. I've got no idea, dearly. Hopefully not. I don't think so. Yeah, he is in range. And in range of the handoff as well, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I didn't count the squares. But uh I thought I thought this was the right square for the for the wolf. So it's it's alright though, it's wrestle, so I like, it's relatively low risk. I'd I would have just I would have just liked this wolf in here first, right? I'd like the wolf in here first. And the white up there first. So you just do those first, then you do the blitz. And then probably just leave the ghoul here, maybe? So that this wolf is totally screened off. Then that's going to really make him worry about the uh, two turn. Which can then maybe, you know, give you a switch around with the other side. Beautiful stand firm. Beautiful stand firm there. Maybe should have re-rolled that, yeah? Because, I mean, Arzawain's, like, looking at the loss right now. He's staring defeat in the face. <laughs> really. Do you just do some twos to score? Put the pressure on Arzawain. It looks like we do. Yeah, I like this. I like it. Yep, lovely. I guess the only bad thing is the sway might come back. Does, but it's still really tough two turn, isn't it? Really tough two turn for Arzawain. The stand firm and the stuff. Oof. 
49. He really needs a Kaz. He desperately needs a Kaz this week. And if this team just had a few more skills, it would be really good, wouldn't it? Well, not even a few more skills, but a few more SPP. The fact that there's like four of them that are close, five of them that are close to one more skill. That they get so much, each one gives so much value. As well. Oh, touch back. Probably has to give it to the runner still, doesn't it? Figured it had to be a. Figured it had to be a dead fleshy with this just being like not even SVP. That cemented it as almost certainly a dead fleshy. Yeah, but now fleshy makes the rest kind of even. Well, so this is pretty, pretty strong here, isn't it, from the dwarves? New GFRs. And we can layer up the screen. Just need to be layered though. And I haven't really got the players for it, have they? This guy. Like he's hung up the movement and everything. No! Don't know what they need. <laughs> They needed to not be playing against uh, two werewolves. <laughs> Should be able to get quite a lot back here. I mean, this is not easy, Rat and Blood. And still, you know, the wolf pings him down, and then there's four players free to get him away. Full, full screen. Okay, no, it's not because he's going to dodge it. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, he's done firm. <laughs> Disregard completely. <laughs> oh, makes the dodge. Also, Skull gets the push. Three plus. And it's not Blood Bowl 3, so he can't use his, another reroll. They were all ones anyway, I think. Yep, they are all ones anyway. Three ones in a row, totally diced. <laughs> Good. Good. Fantastic. Everybody rejoices. Congratulations, Diana. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Insanity dicking. <laughs> now, uh, Jimmy, can you tell us how you really feel about Barcelona? <laughs> oh, I can't actually because I would get demonetized. But, you know, it rhymes with hunt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fantastic. Congratulations to Diamed. Brilliant stuff. Only seven AV breaks with all of those hits with a claw palm wolf on a niggled, uh, on, you know, loads of niggled dwarves hunted down. Nothing pretty much happened to them. Unbelievable, unbelievable armor dice. 80% armor hold for the, uh, for the dwarves. And uh, yeah, you know, what can I say? 
No commiserations to Arsawing. So happy you lost. And uh, yeah, cheaters, you know, deserve to lose forever. So there you go. I mean, well, actually, he probably deserves something a lot worse than losing in a little kid's game. But, you know, what can you say? He did he did kind of con people out of thousands of dollars. So there you go. Uh, the UC. If you don't know about the UC, then uh, you should. But they did. They did, uh, they did cheat legitimate PS4 players out of literally thousands of dollars when there were cash prizes and led to the end of cash prizes for everybody. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.